Chasing dreams has hit the big top. What a cocktail party! Have a look at this. There is music, there's balloons, there's lights. I think there's champagne. Let's go get a photo. Let's get a photo. Okay. Talk. There's, um, hang on. This is awkward. Excuse me. Is there a photographer here to take a, um, oh. all the proper okay. people that... Maybe we should just go. Thank, thank you so much. That's okay. That's okay. And not like tonight, Opera House, Harbour Bridge. Yeah, look, we're celebrating everything that's great about Sydney, but also about the horse racing industry. You know, we've had a very challenging year, let's face it, we all have, not just the horse racing industry, but just people at large across the world. And we see no harm in getting together now and celebrating. And um, yeah, there are people here in the room tonight we just haven't caught up with since pre-COVID. It's great to see them again. Lizzie Jelfs, isn't it lovely to be out in public again? There's music, there's champagne. What a lovely atmosphere. It is really nice. I suppose we have only have to cast our mind back to 12 months ago and we weren't able to be in this situation. So I think we all really appreciate the fact that we're here and we're in an iconic setting and it's the eve of a very exciting sale over the next two days. What's more glamorous? Two o'clock in the morning at Warwick Farm in the rain or here at the Opera House? Warwick Farm. <laughs> but it, it's ironic that we're, of course, we've got the sales at Warwick Farm, track work for me at Warwick Farm, and then to the Opera House. It's a great industry to be involved in, exciting times. Great to have you all here, ladies and gentlemen. Certainly looking forward to the next couple of days. Have you warmed the voice up ahead of the auctions? Well, in a quite unique way, we've warmed the voice up, Julie. I mean, normally I'm counting telegraph poles as I'm driving to work, but tonight we sold an egg. And you didn't just sell an egg, you sold an egg for a remarkable $30,000. Tell us who it's for. Well, I think I'm going to give up my daytime job selling horses because eggs obviously have uh, increased in value tonight. So this was a 26 kilo lint chocolate egg and it sold for $30,000. The recipients are the Westmeads Children's Hospital. He said he's going to be with the kids to eat it, but thank you very much, Jim. And when you're working, you work in hospitable hours, so your wife does a lot of the work, and you've even got a working, Ash, over here doing social media. They are the unsung heroes, the wives and partners of this industry. Yeah, well, no double time there. No, uh, actually, I'm not sure even minimum wage. 4,500 now. 4,500, 5,000 here, 5,000 here. Now, you just said you count telegraph poles. Is that how you prepare for these big sales? It is, or different coloured cars, or just anything to sort of start to get that rhythm going. So uh, on the M M5 coming out in, in Sydney, it's pretty easy to get up to a million dollars in like about half a kilometre. Well, he heads off in the dark every morning, doesn't he? He does. The alarm goes off at, at sleep and is 3.15, so... You try to not wake anyone up? Uh, well, it depends who you ask, but I do my best. He's well drilled, well drilled. Mahri Yoshida, so you're French, you're married to a Japanese man, you live in Kentucky on a horse farm and you sell horses for Hong Kong, have I got it right? You are very, very right. It's a little bit complicated, but uh, I love coming to Australia. That's where you find the best race horses for Hong Kong. And I love buying yearlings from Easter Cell. William Inglis, they do an amazing job. You find top quality horses, very sound, very fast, and that's what we need in Hong Kong. We're really excited to get back to Randwick for the championships with crowd, with people able to enjoy themselves and I think it's going to be a really special few weekends and hopefully um, some winning ones. Well it will definitely be some winning ones really. There'll be some winning ones, it's whether or not we're lucky enough to be any of the winning ones. Now you've got official duties tonight, you are MC in there with the English team so go do your bit and we'll see you again soon.